Terror Survival Network is Red Dare's premier online venue for those called by the Holy Spirit into the righteousness revolution impacting our generation with the gospel of grace. We are experiencing a grace-based manifestation of the Holy Spirit being poured forth in Red Deer County and around the globe. See us online at karisrevivalnetwork.com. People say, but Jesse, how do I know the voice of God? My sheep know my voice. <laughs> Rub your head, find some horns, there ain't no sheep. <laughs> Look at y'all, some of y'all touching your head right now. What that's saying to you and I is that, folks, it's our day. It's, it's wonderful to go back and read about the church in the book of Acts. It's wonderful to read and we can glean understanding from their lives. But you know what? Peter, James, and John, and Paul, they're dead. Let's bring it on up. John G. Lake is dead. Smith Wigglesworth is dead. Just keep on coming. Kenneth Hagin is dead. It's our day. It's our day. I mean, you know, all of the promises and all the prophecies of God are not yet fulfilled. But it's our day. And, it, and as great as all of those that, that went on before us, they didn't get to where God's taken us. Which he'll pay at the cross. Because you see, the reason why there is no condemnation for you and I today, wonderful as that truth is, it's not because God has gone soft on sin. God is holy. He's thrice holy. He's a wonderful God, but He's a holy God. But every sin was born in the body of Jesus. And when He hung there on the cross, He took your sins and my sins. And God's holiness, holiness unleashed His fury and holy indignation and wrath against all lawlessness, against all sins, and stroke after stroke of the curse of lawlessness fell on Jesus. He exhausted all of God's judgment and cried, It is 